Hey everybody, just give me a quick channel update in case you've been wondering why I'm not playing the guitar. Uh, probably about three weeks ago, I ended up hurting my hand. I was putting a chair together and I was squeezing the bottom part together as I was putting a screw in and I felt this pop and I felt this excruciating pain that ran through my hand all the way into my wrist and my forearm area. So immediately I went, contacted my doctor, we took some x-rays, um, but I ended up going to see a hand specialist and I did do some damage to my tendon as well as my ulnar nerve. Now the ulnar nerve, particularly if you're a guitar player, is not the greatest news because it ends up affecting your ring finger and your pinky. Um, and when you have these kind of damages to your ulnar nerve, they really affect weakness in your hand. Uh, your coordination is completely off with it and there's a constant burning sensation. It really affects like my fingertip area. So obviously when you're playing guitar, you're pressing down with your fingertips and it just causes this excruciating pain. Even three weeks after the initial injury, I, I can't play guitar. I mean, I've tried to just see what it's like to pick it up and I, I can't. So this is the third year of my channel. The first year was just going over music covers. The second year I was experimenting with guitar reviews as well as documentaries. This third year I had already planned on doing my music news segments, which I already started. And plus I'm gonna be diving into Kiss's 50th anniversary. So I'm looking at doing a look back at Kiss's 50 years of being in the music business. Um, so I'm gonna continue doing that. And in the background, I'm just gonna to try to take it easy. I hope to play guitar again this year. I just figured I'd just give you a quick update on how things are going, uh, just in case you guys are wondering. So thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you guys soon. So there was this little old lady, she was crossing the street and a big truck was coming. The truck was huge. You should have seen it. I mean, it's bigger than a semi. And I'm trying to tell this lady, I'm like, hey, nice lady, this truck's coming. So next thing you know, this truck's speeding up. So I reached out with my hand and I was able to pull her with one hand, mind you. I was able to pull her out of the way and, and she had like a quart of milk. It it didn't make it. So the guy ran over by a truck. But I went back in the store, I bought her half a gallon of milk, 290 or something like that, and I, I let her keep the change. But I hurt my hand that way. So I was outside, I was like fixing like the gutter, and next thing you know, those killer hornets, remember those, those big ones like that? A whole swarm of them came, so I'm like running and dodging and trying to go, and I tried opening up the door to my house, and it, it was locked, right? Because we keep it locked all the time, and I never answer it. So anyways, these hornets are coming. So I ended up dodging and I jumped into the bushes and landed on my hand. You know, good news, the hornets, they flew back to Seattle or wherever they are. You can look it up. But I ended up hurting my hand because of that. So I was going ice fishing and I, I never fish. So my friend of mine, he was drilling a hole. And next thing you know, all the ice around us just collapsed. So I was lucky to stay on the good side and so I was reaching in there as I'm holding back, like on one hand, I was reaching back to try to hang on to something so I didn't fall in there. And I was reaching in my other hand to pull him out. So as I was pulling him, I felt this tearing in my hand, but I didn't let go of him because I could have swore there was like a shark or something in there. So like, I was like, oh my God, I have to pull him out of there. So as I'm, as I'm pulling him out, I felt this pain in my arm, but you know what? It was okay because the shark only got his shoe I saved his life. You know, I, I kind of hurt my hand, but I saved his life. So it's, it, it's all good. So it's crazy. My wife and I were taking this walk. We decided to walk the dogs around the neighborhood. And next thing you know, I, I heard like almost like a helicopter or something, but it was actually like two airplanes. And like, I could tell like they were running out of gas. So like they were coming down and I'm like, oh my gosh, what should I do? So I was grabbing my wife's hand and I was like pulling her like a certain way. And then I got her out of the way. But then all of a sudden the plane landed and it was like, it wasn't going fast. It was probably about 30 miles per hour and it was coming by me and I saw it was going towards the school bus. So I was like, oh man. So I ended up grabbing like the wing cause it was coming, you know, like the wing in the plane. So I was, there's that little part that hangs off. I don't know what they call it, but I grabbed onto that and I was like trying to like put my feet down and try to like pull backwards. And when I was pulling back, oh, I felt this pain in my hand. But you know what? It, it came like this close from the bus and there was like little kids there. It was so cool. They like had their crayons and their papers and they were writing, 
thank you. You know, their parents wanted to give me like all this money. And I'm like, no, no, it's really cool. No, no, you know, just half of it. 